I have to admit that talking about my artistic and teaching practice right now is a real struggle. Between remote teaching, the quarantine, parenting and the pandemic, the ongoing struggles for justice, and the state of national politics. Talking about my work as an artist and a teacher is really difficult. Everything has changed so much, so quickly, in such a short amount of time, that what was does not seem like it can predict what will be. My name is Rob Moriarty. I'm an artist, I'm a dreamer, and I'm a teacher. We started the Have Dreams mural in December of 2019 as a way to celebrate the legacy of Dr. King and build community through a public art project. We held workshops in the evenings to learn about Dr. King, to learn about the history of community-based public art in Chicago, and to design the mural we would be creating together. Let me share my screen here. Um... Some students in Berwyn spent Martin Luther King Day creating a mural dedicated to Dr. King's legacy. A message from the civil rights icon got the painting started. The effort is part of the 2020 Inclusion Project involving students in the Youth Crossroads program. Two local artists are helping out. We are creating something that does not exist now. We've been stating this over and over to them to let them know that, my gosh, you all are creating history. I hope that we uh, create something that inspires people to come together and continue having dreams of justice. That mural will eventually go on display outside the Youth Crossroads building in Berwyn's historic depot district. Production of the mural was ramping up as COVID-19 shut everything down. And there was a moment where it looked like the project was unlikely to be finished. Schools went remote overnight, the economy shut down, everything was uncertain. Then the protests erupted, everywhere. We knew the mural had to be finished. We were able to utilize an outdoor space that allowed us to safely work on the Have Dreams project when the local middle school district at Muse Crossroads asked if we could lead a summer enrichment program with students for an Art on the Tracks mural project. We began working with a small group of middle school students over Zoom to design this second mural. Because of time and safety concerns, we needed to create a project that could be painted quickly and accommodate student participation. I looked back to a project that I had created for the Color Splash Homecoming celebration at Morton West in the fall of 2019. By masking off a simple text-based image and spray painting around it, students could participate safely with little direct technique instruction. The middle school students researched quotes about community and justice, learned about community-based mural, and designed the words we used for we invited students and their parents to join us for a 15 to 20 minute low stakes painting session. This created an opportunity to get students out of the house and involved in something, even if it was only for a few minutes. The students reported having a lot of fun. So much of my work as a community-based artist and teacher is about designing experiences for as many people as possible to come together in public and create something meaningful. It is a social practice where the experience is as important as the finished product. Whether it is designing large-scale support installations for school theater productions, or recording students and staff playing music together to foster a sense of belonging within the school community, or interviewing retired teachers for an oral history project about their experiences on the front lines of union activism. My work is really about bringing people together to create, to share stories, and to build community. Talking about these projects really makes me realize that in order to move forward, in order for us to create something when we are overwhelmed and unsure of the future, it is helpful to look back at past practices. It is helpful to acknowledge that so many have done this work before us, that they've done this work in moments of uncertainty, in moments of struggle for freedom and justice, 
And the best way that we can honor their work is to continue the work, to continue dreaming of a better place, of a better future, to continue building a world for love and justice.